You're listening to the Cricket Fixes Podcast, where we tackle the tough topics of personal development, sprinkled with some raw vulnerability and a touch of humor. I'm your host, Cricket, and each episode we're diving into the realms of healing, growth, and self-discovery. Thanks for joining me here for episode number one, where I'm opening up about my own healing journey, what makes this show different from other self-development podcasts, and why you will want to tune in to each episode. So let's be fearless and awesome together. It's time to get your cricket fix. I bet I know what you're thinking. Yay, another self-help podcast. But do we really need another one? Hell yes. We have so much access to amazing therapists, coaches, trauma experts, content creators, etc. that you might think you don't need to tune in to one more. Unless, of course, you appreciate these topics are covered by another fellow human who's gone through the ringer and come out ahead. I feel pretty passionately that while my story isn't that different from many of you who've suffered tremendously throughout your life, perhaps my lens on it is. And I've worked my ass off for 51 years to do the work, heal my shit, and share my path to make yours just a little bit easier. So what can you expect with the Cricket Fixes podcast? Well, you're going to get high doses of compassion, validation, and love from me. We don't get nearly enough of this in our day-to-day life, and it's tremendously healing. I want to help you not only receive it, but also motivate you to dish it out in a very genuine way, too. And I want to lighten the load of the healing work and infuse the process with some humor. I ask that you don't mistake this for irreverence or disrespect for what we're going through, but appreciate that humor can truly be an incredible tool in your tool belt to heal. So I'm bringing it here to the show too. Okay, now about the format. I like to keep things interesting and there will be several formats to keep you engaged along the way. There will be member Q&A episodes where I will take a member or a listener's challenging situation and shine some light on it with honesty, directness, and love. Being human is hard, and I want to make it easier. I'll also bring on expert guests in the fields of trauma, addiction, psychedelics, relationships, and much more. For those self-development junkies like me that have a stack of books gathering dust, I'm committing to reading them for us and will provide highlights of the most insightful pieces. I get it. Time is a precious resource, so I'm happy to do the heavy lifting for you. I'll also be doing episodes that are just me sharing my oftentimes dark stories and how my healing journey has led to a very magical life loaded with joy and freedom. My hope is these will give you hope and motivation to keep moving forward yourself. I want you to see what is possible for you. In these very personal episodes, I commit to you being fully transparent about my journey with complex PTSD, my part in being in a very toxic relationship, my failures in business and my career, my struggles with and my triumph over my horrible relationship with alcohol, and my deep appreciation for psychedelics and their power to heal. All of it. And if you're curious how I can be so open and transparent about this often shitstorm called life, it's because I've come to know deeply The ending the stigma of mental illness and what it means to be a flawed, suffering human is my life's purpose. Around the age of 14, I found it very natural to show vulnerability. And in fact, it's how I saw I could make friendships easily. Being open is a real way for us to connect and relate with one another, building trust so we can build a bond. This has often challenged me in the corporate world because I'd have to hold back and conform to a certain way of being that wasn't aligned with my soul's purpose, 
nor my authentic self. So guess what? I get to do it here, now, with you. And then lastly, at the end of every episode, I'm going to give you an awareness prompt, which is simply a question to help you reflect on a particular area of life and explore your own inner wisdom to prepare you for the next episode where you can get another perspective and dive a little deeper. All of it is available to you. So if you're with me, if you're feeling inspired and hopeful about what's inside of you waiting to emerge, let's go on this adventure together, side by side, in love and laughter and tears and all the things. I hope you'll click that subscribe button because the next episode is going to dive deep on my journey to sobriety. And if you are at all curious about taking a break or giving up booze, you will not want to miss this. And while you're waiting for that episode to drop, I've got that awareness exercise for you now. So go and grab a fresh journal, market cricket fixes, grab your pen and your paper and write down this question. What in your life would change if you never touched alcohol again? Give yourself some quiet space for about 15 to 20 minutes. Take a few deep breaths and let your imagination and inner wisdom run wild and write out all of the things that would change in your life if you never drank again. Write down everything that you can possibly come up with that would change in your life if you never drank again. And if you would like to share any of the insights that you come up with, please post them here in the comments. I would love, love, love to hear from you and be able to share them on the next show because your insights will inspire others. Remember, we're in this together now. So until next time, much love to you all and keep pushing on because this world needs you. Thanks so much for tuning into the Cricket Fixes podcast. If you're craving more support on your journey, head over to cricketfixes.com and sign up for the newsletter to get your fix of love, abundance, joy, peace, and freedom today.